All right, 12 players at Greater Atlanta Christian signed a national letter of intent this morning. Coach Tim Hardy's squad made it all the way to the state championship game this season, and it was very much a success paying off for those young men. Congratulations to all dozen Spartans. I had the pleasure of being there this morning, mm -hmm. and uh, families were enjoying it. It was great a great day. day for the young men and their families, for sure. All right, welcome back to Sports Zone Signing Day here on WSBTV.com. Motlick & Associates, our presenting sponsor, and they also honored 11 players during the regular season as the Athlete of the Week. That's right. Each week, uh, one of the standouts represented in the field and in the community. Let's take a look back at the Motlick & Associates Athlete of the Week to see where they are headed next. Nick Wilson spent the season at Milton High School blocking for one of the most explosive running attacks in the state. When he wraps up his senior year, he'll head out west to Stanford to play college ball. Mitch Hyatt spent the last few years blocking the state's best defensive ends from his spot on the offensive line for one of the state's best programs, North Gwinnett. Hyatt ranked as the second best high school player in the state and has already enrolled at Clemson. Sandy Creek running back Eric Swinney topped 1,800 yards as a senior and over 4,000 yards during his career in Tyrone. Add in nearly 70 touchdowns, and it is no wonder his future is in the SEC. Swinney is headed to Old Miss. North Oconee's Kawan Bryant rushed for 2,148 yards and 28 touchdowns this season. He also racked up 98 touchdowns in his career. Brian heads to Georgia Military College, where he hopes to spend a few seasons before transferring to a big-time program. Cherokee's Andrew Harris was named the Montlick and Associates Athlete of the Year. That is because he led the state in receiving yards, his team back to the playoffs for only the eighth time in school history, and all of his contributions to the Cherokee community. Harris decided Samford University was the place for him, Congratulations to Andrew and all of our deserving athletes this year. Congratulations, folks. Who else was named a Montlick and Associates Athlete of the Week this past season? Well, the previously discussed Terry Godwin from Callaway. He'll make his announcement later tonight. Taj Griffin from McEachin ranked as the top-ranked all-purpose back in the country. Heading into the season, but that injury, first game of the year, cut his senior season short. He will play for Oregon. Souths for Sites. Tyler LaFlame erupted for 435 yards rushing in a game earlier this year. He finished with nearly 1,500 yards rushing, 300 yards receiving, and 20 touchdowns. LaFlame is considering trying to walk on at Georgia Southern or Kennesaw State. As mentioned, Derry Slayton from Greater Atlanta Christian. He is heading to Auburn. DeAndre Walker from Langston Hughes will be playing at Georgia in Athens. And Rashad Roundtree from Lakeside will join Walker in Athens. Uh, in total, seven of the top 16 players in our state were named as the Montlick and Associates Athlete of the Week. And joining us now is one of those honorees, Milton's Nick Wilson. Nick, congratulations, my man, on a fantastic you. season. You holding up? You having a good year? Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, awesome good stuff. Year. Congrats. And Nick, uh, signed with Stanford. Now, you had offers from Auburn, Florida State, Michigan State, uh, many of the biggest schools in the country. How did David Shaw and, and, and the staff at Stanford convince you that the farm was the right place for you? Um, well, you know, I think the school really convinced itself, um, the kids there, the academics, um, and, you know, obviously the football is great. So, um, you know, having Coach Shaw there and um, just really added – bonus to what to you know the positives that uh, Stanford presents to me um, but yeah just really helping he's a great coach leads by example um, and a guy that I can really see myself play for so give us a little insight into your recruiting process did you grow up a Stanford fan how did they become uh, on your radar um, you know obviously we're in, entrenched in the deep south you know the SEC and ACC but to get in that, in that, that Pac-10 school how did that become on your radar and take us through how it all began um, well, I actually grew up a huge Buckeye fan. My dad um, went to school at Ohio State, so my whole life I was raised, you know, to be a, you know, strict Buckeye fan. So um, that's all I had watched. And then one day I saw Stanford playing Oregon and how their offensive line was just so, so tenacious and, like, um, you know, just driving people off the ball. And I, that caught my eye. Um, and I was like, wow. I, Stanford is pretty good. And then I heard about the academics, and I was like, wow, I, I want to go there someday. So, you know, I'm really happy it all worked out. Um, and, you know, honestly, they weren't even on my radar until, like, a couple years ago. So, Can you, um, can you confuse your dad between the Buckeye Reds and, Cal and Cardinal Reds <laughs> like that? 
days there yeah. a little bit. <laughs> now, what, we, I, I want to ask you, for that Stanford-Oregon memory, was Andrew Luck the quarterback at that time for yes, Stanford? Sir. So, yeah. so and, and uh, there have been a couple of Stanford offensive linemen that, that uh, have now gone on to the NFL as well. Uh, the style of play, I, I guess Jim Harbaugh, of course, was uh, the coach there before moving on to the 49ers and then David Shaw. The style of play, how much did that attract you uh, in terms of the way their offensive line plays? Because they're more of a throwback team. You have so many spread offenses mm -hmm. now in college football. Mm -hmm. They're kind of a throwback, smash mouth team. That's, that's exactly what drew me there. Um, I'm kind of that way myself. Um, you know, just getting after it, driving off the ball. Uh, not a real pretty guy, but um, you know, like to, I uh, just like to hit people, I guess. And uh, you know, I think that's what they like to do. That sounds pretty, sounds pretty to, to a I lot mean, of coaches. Yeah, right? but yeah. I, mean, I think you look sharp, man. You Absolutely. Got, you got the, oh, you got the you. jacket, the glasses. Absolutely. You're representing uh, football. Always been a part of your life. You mentioned watching, walking, watching the Buckeyes as a kid, but uh, sure. something. I mean, look at this guy right here. Who's that? Oh, that's me. Yeah, it is, man. Look at you. <laughs> Ready to rock. Yeah. You're probably running back right there. So you've changed a little bit over the years. Yeah, but uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. it's been a, a huge, a, important factor of your life, the game of football. Yes, sir. Yeah, it has. Um, started playing when I was four years old. And, you know, it's the coaches, the players I've experienced throughout my life have, you know, really helped to shape who I am and, um, you know, help me become the fo football player and most of all the man I am. So really happy to play the sport and continue on to Stanford. Nick Wilson all set to head to Palo Alto to become a member of the Stanford Cardinal. Our thanks to Nick. Nick, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us and we'll be watching you closely as you uh, vie for Pac-10 and national titles. Or Pac-12, I should say. Yeah, right. Everything changes. Yeah. Pac-12 Pac and national titles. I call it Pac-10. We're still old school. He's a younger than us. Congratulations, man. Enjoy the moment. Safe travels out west. Thank you very much. All right, Wilson and other Montlick and Associates honorees will be following the footsteps of the 2013's Athlete of the Year, Mr. Nick Ruffin. Ruffin signed with Auburn and made an immediate impact his freshman year. Auburn head coach Gus Malzahn noted Ruffin doesn't play like a freshman, and the thing that impressed him was that Ruffin was a physical guy Guy that doesn't mind sticking his nose in there. Uh, he certainly did not on this oh. hit against LSU. Wow. Ruffin spent considerable time at both the star position and the safety spot for the Tigers. Congrats and best of luck to all of our Montlick and Associates Athlete of the Week.